Sometimes when political things happen, things aren't taken into consideration. And we've seen in the Brexit, for example, what about data sharing? We use currently the EU laws regarding data sharing, which are huge. Um, and of course, we're leaving the EU, meaning we can't use EU laws anymore. So of course, there's got to be a massive new legislation regarding how the transformation, the sharing of that information, whatever happens. Now, in America, you've just had the election of Donald Trump, who has said that he is going to weaken regulations, and that includes the FDA. Now, this could cause quite a big problem because you could have now quacks legitimately no longer have to worry the FDA coming after them. And to be honest, that's something that they should be worried coming after them. Because the FDA is there to protect you against these people. So what can you essentially do now? Well, information. Information is power in this day and age and it's the enemy also of the quacks as well. If you see someone share a quack post, there's chances are that there's already an actual doctor. I might have made a video. Quack Watch might have already written an article about it. Go find the article. Say, hey, that's not true. <laughs> um, this, this and this. Read more about it in this article here. That's how you fight a quack under Donald Trump's new position. Now, at the moment, we don't know what's going to happen. We don't know what could happen to the FDA and what essentially might happen. We know for a full fact that Trump is an anti-vaxxer. We know for a fact that Andrew Wakefield met with Trump prior to the elections, which is incredibly worrying. Incredibly. So, in America, you are facing a huge proposition of where you are getting probably the most anti-science president in history. So, yeah, that could be a problem. Trump could literally let in the quacks by the back door. And if they get that foothold in the door, they could cause a lot of problems for a lot of people. And they are going to make a lot of money.